I'm combining, I'm combining these two videos so it can be back to back. So if y'all at work, I ain't got to go play with y'all headset. Trust me. I'm catering all y'all needs again like I used to. I'm back on. I'm back at it. If you support me, love me. Make sure you smash, like, subscribe, comment, and share. So look, um, I go to level five and level one. I was at Marquette level one. I blew that. I was in a temporary hole up in a dorm. That's the sex offenders dorm, but they got a temporary hole up there. So I was in there. I got convicted of my ticket. And I had too many points to go back to level one. So they wanted to send me somewhere I could be housed there. So I had to go to a level two. But there, they don't put you back out in the unit or they don't keep in a temporary hole. They send you to a real hole, which is in level five. And if a bed not opened up for you in a level two by then, well, you're going to be in level five. Now, I don't know if that's legal or not. But obviously it is because if they would have been sued, they definitely wouldn't have did that. So... Mind you, I go to the hole, I get out the hole, go right back, and then I'm finally out, I get out the hole and get sent to GP. But when I went over to level five, it was an eye opener because I never seen men behave like that. And I've been around juvenile systems and county jail, but I never seen men uh, expose themselves to, to women. I never seen men smurf feces all on themselves, urinate in their own cell, throw food. Yell all night. If they get into it with they, the cellmate next to them, they'll bang on the locker all night. They'll slam the locker real hard. Bang on it. Just being aware of my surroundings. Yeah, they'll, they'll slam on the locker all night. Bang on it. You ain't sleeping. You mm, talking, then being cool, arguing, then being cool. And it was just going on all night. That's when I got prescribed Seroquel to help me with my sleep because I couldn't sleep. Yelling to the top of their lungs, rapping, talking. Talking about gangs all day. It's just, it's no really positive conversation when you in a hole like that. It's always about some BS or whatever, but cool, whatever. Whatever to pass the time. So, anyway, I get out the hole. I guess it was just a big gang war between, like, I think it was VBM and I want to say 882, something like that. I want to, I don't know. They was beefing with another blood gang. So it was the bright idea of the warden or whoever in classification to put all these guys on one side, all these type of bloods on one side. So at the time, it's only me, like a Melanic, one Moorish American, uh, one GD had just went to the hole. It's just few and far in between. Let's just say if it was 60 people on the front side, I would say a good 35 of them was, 40 of them was bloods, some type of blood or affiliated or been there and they was just neutral and pe they was cool, but... Anyway, so I, I, I go over there, do yell down like cell, whatever it was, cell nine. What up though? Who you be, blood? I'm like, bird. He like, nah, who you be? Dude next door, like, what's your ball? And I ain't know what he was talking about, right? I ain't know I ain't know what he was talking about. I'm like, bro, I, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Uh, you know, whatever, woo woo. I'm bird, like flying bird, B Y R D. So the guy next door to me is Solar, right? He like, he, they trying to see if you a blood, man. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Woo, woo, woo. I don't want no, you know, at this time. Like, uh -uh. And um, he like, so you flipping over to this side? I'm like, no, nah, I ain't doing no flipping on no, none of that, bro. I don't even know y'all. He like, well, when you get to know what you're going to do, I'm like, nah, bro. Like, what, what's up with you? He like, all right, it's VBM or I. I think VBM stands for like Villain Banger Mafia. It's got like VBM or I. What? VBM or I. I don't know what he talking about. Right? Solar explained to me again. He talking about you going to get with the set or they need an I. I was like, what? I'm like, hey, bro, I ain't with none of that, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. He like, when you, when, when you come out, I'll be on the back wall. You getting off this yard, or you can lock up now. You can go to another unit. You can go uh, uh, to the hall. Say you want to commit suicide, but you got to get from over here on this front side. It's all VBM or die. V VBM affiliated or, or die, something like that. He said to me some slogan that he had. Pride is the quickest way to starvation. That's what Jesus said. Pride is the quickest way to hell. I'm just super tough in my head, which I realized down the line. I'm not very tough at all. And not barbaric as I thought I was. So, I'm like, man, whatever. Woo, I'll be on the yard. Now, the whole time, I'm thinking like, 
Should I just take that offer and go to home? <laughs> Should I just take that offer? But something in me like, man, I like my chances. I like my chances. And I don't even know how he look, mind you. I don't know how he look, how big he is, or none of that. I just hear him all talking about blood. This isn't that blood. Uh, blood, we about to get one off the yard, bro. Uh, blood, 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 blood. I don't say nothing. I ain't doing no cell games to stuff or none of that. And I don't want to make the situation worse. And I'm trying to pinpoint exactly kind of like what cell it come from. So the Solar shot me some words. He like, well, whoop, bro up there in that cell. I don't like them little young game bangers. But when they're wrong, you got to act like a Roman. I ain't going to say his name. I know his name. Uh, me and him cool to this day. But I, cause I, but people be reporting back to prison like, oh, he said this or he said that. So I don't want to get him in no trouble or conflict if he's still up there. And um, so he shoot me words and tell me what cell, how he look, and he told me that he had he come out with like a a, a brown, uh, Carhartt jacket on. So I'm getting a little visual of him in my head. Like then, let me remember this. I shot him some words back. Like woo, 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 okay, how many of them is it? He shoot me the words back. He say, bro, it's like 27 of them that I counted that I know of. I just got on this side. You feel me? I'm like, 27? I'm like, it ain't none of mine over here? Nope. So we writing back and forth. Whoop, whoop. He asked me, that I know somebody? I'm like, yeah, whoop, whoop, whoop. He shoot me over a little piece about this big. I don't know how he got it. It was made out of um, a, 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 a can top. You know the tops on the can I told you? We still out the kitchen, but it was a small, like, little can or whatever like a, a little small can of corn the top it was folded or whatever with a handle on it back good looking he's like send me all my work what well, we was writing on back and forth on like two sheets of paper front and back or whatever he's like send me my words back so I could flush them whatever whoop, whoop. I send him the words back I guess he tear them up flush them because you know he don't want nobody to be like oh, oh you know look he gave me some words oh he gave me a piece oh he you know you know what i'm saying he didn't want me to expose him because he didn't really know me like that but he looked out for me he gave me a little piece i'm like all right bet so i would say like two hours later which felt like four hours i had those butterflies like when you young and you meet your first girl that you like and you love them butterflies on an empty stomach i'm nervous then a mother Woo, woo, woo. Porter come by, right? Porter say, um, he say, what's your name, bro? Where you from? I tell him, I guess he go around the corner. He go holler at, at this guy named uh, Mike Mike, this vice lord that I know from the world. Mike Mike said some words over, right? Well, not I, I said around the corner, but. Mike Mike like down at the at the base cell all the way at the end by the showers like he far right and I'm all the way on the other end so whatever whatever he like is this 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 bird from such and such I'm like yeah woo, woo, woo. Send, us, send us some words once I find out who he is he like I'm coming on on, on, on y'all yard today or whatever woo woo if they don't let all the if they don't let all the galleries out, I get to come out on y'all. So he come out. He catch me before I get to the yard. Dude that I was arguing with the blood with the with the brown coat on. He was on the back wall with his hands in his sleeve. It's cold outside, right? He on the backyard, his hands in his sleeve. Mike Mike like, hey look, bro, I'm about to go holler at them. You good. You, you know what I'm saying? You good. My word gold around this joint. You feel me? I've been up here six, seven years struggling with them, bro. Them to my brothers. So I go back there. They kind of deep. Everybody on the yard looking. And it's like they notice I'm the only new guy. Everybody looking at me. It's like the walker just like, I don't know what's going on. Everything moving so fast. And I keep trying not to, you know what I'm saying? I keep my head straight on and I'm focused. So I walk outside. They pat us down. Little light pad. We go into the gate. I go towards the back wall. Me and Mike, Mike. Bro, like, what's up? It's VBM or I. I'm like, it's whatever. Mike might jump in like, no, no, he good. Woo, woo, woo. He like, oh. Oh, because you sure was going to get this. You good, dog. I apologize. Such and such. Woo, woo, woo. Blood. Blood, 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 blood. 
But yeah, we saw a VBM over here. We ain't let nothing, not official on the yard stay on here. I don't care if you a blood, if you ain't rocking with us, and you ain't one of the sets we affiliated with, you can't you can't stay over here. We need an eyeball, you feel me? You feel me? We need a buck fifty. We need something from you. We need blood on this yard, bro. We predicated our blood. I'm like, damn. He talking and talking. I'm like, yeah, well, all right, whatever. Woo woo. Me and Mike spin the yard. He explained to me what's going on in the in the in the in the war and all this stuff, man. I'm like I'm so scared, bro. I'm so scared inside. But the safe face, I still went outside. The smart thing would have been like, "Hey, I want to commit suicide. Let me let me go to the suicide unit." I'm, you feel me? But the safe face, I come outside, about to make my predicament worse. Cause if I if I stab him, ain't none of my kind over here like that. You know what I'm saying? If I stab him, I come down. I only got a one or four. I got another case, or I got a flop coming if they don't want to charge me. I got a mandatory flop coming, so it's like. It was no win-win from that situation when I could have just tucked tail, went to the hole or, or whatever, stayed there till I rolled out, which I rolled out like maybe a week or two later. But before I rolled out, I just got to see some crazy stuff. I got to see VBM pop off again with inside itself fighting for power and positions and things like that. Uh, as far as VBM, which I think, like I said, I think it stands for Villain Banger Mafia. I don't know what the banger is. I know what villain is, but... Uh, I, I once said on, on here that there was an official set. Somebody corrected me and said there wasn't an official set. Like I said, it's not on me to do that. Maybe I should do my research and ask around, but people say that you don't have to have sanctions from Cali to have an official set. You can start your own. As long as it's predicated under what blood stands for. You got your ball. You got the rules and policies that you're supposed to have. Some guys say, no, it got to be sanctioned. And official is foo-foo. So those, you're never going to really get a straight answer. We need a big blood to come tell us some things but then once again that's probably still his opinion because they say 82 bloods not real bloods they don't have no sanctions but they respect it on that on them yards level twos and level fours where the deep is that they be running things under the blood so i just don't know bro i i don't know really don't even care you know my my, my brother who got his own set shop um also bloody glove mafia die move started his own set no sanctions no nothing I respect him. Everybody respect him. It is what it is, and I like the way he moves. Cause brother, not a gang banger. When he put that that mafia on us, he really meant that by making big legitimate moves. And maybe you know have to wiggle or finesse something sometimes off the muscle, but it's predicated around getting money, not gang banging. That's why I tell people like the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, "We love the gangs, but the gang banging." must stop and I ain't here to preach no positive stuff I'm just telling y'all my story man that feeling that I had that was the first time in a while I kind of felt like that it's kind of like you get into it with a guy and he flash what's on his hip and then you just don't know what to do next you want to stay here save face probably try to still look tough but kind of situation down at the same time or you should skedaddle really sometimes flight is the best thing don't be like me an idiot I was an idiot for going out there. They could have did anything to me. And they, they was going to blow me down. Bro had a piece like this. Pause. Blow me that. Yeah, but he had a piece like that. And it was so many of them. I wouldn't have had a fighting chance, man. Really. Or, I mean, or maybe if I would have up mine, I would have bagged them off me a little bit. But I'm not sure if multiple people had it. But the guy that did that, did that he turned out to getting hit by his own. Because he was just a little flunky. He was being super tough. And to find out, he only joined VBM during the war when they made him pick size. Crazy. Peace. If you were in prison, right, and you weak, and you knew, you don't accept gifts food from people if you knew and, and food is sacred in there people fight people die people do this they stab they do all this stuff over food right so if food is that serious you got to ask yourself why would a guy constantly give you things for instance it was this one white kid right he looked kind of feminine, but he had like tattoos everywhere. You could just tell he was like a little soft. You never judge a book by his cover, but you know the way he talked and all that stuff. He was just like an easily easy victim. He's a fish. He came from a level one. He blew a level one. 
went to a level two. So this guy named B Snatcher, and you know what B stand for. They, they call him B Snatcher, but the B stand for it, right? I didn't know this at the time, though. I didn't know. Um, they usually don't talk about people or tell them tell you things until they really get to know you or that person individual leave because even though they might be a predator even though they might be feminine even though they might be gay them boys still be hitters right so anyway so this dude coming here josh that was his name josh josh was from lapeer yep josh novak that was his name josh novak he's from lapeer no john john novak he was from lapeer um so he come in be snatcher Hey, how you doing? Woo, 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 woo. This is a black guy too, so you gotta be weary of that a black black guys they usually look out for each other. They usually trying to recruit you to their gang or, or they Muslims trying to get you in, and they only usually do that with other black people. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, right? If you're not already a part of what they got going on, so you gotta be skeptical about this. You gotta understand this is an environment, a predatory type environment. It's eat or be ate. It's a gang environment. It's a it's a, it's it's just violent. It's just a bunch of people trying to get over on you by any means. Just like some of the games out here in these streets, people trying to get over by any means to satisfy themselves. So he uh giving the guy, hey, you need something? You need deodorant? Woo, woo, woo. You need this, 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 and that? Keep coming down to his room. His room was right next to ours, in the uh, cubicles or whatever, right? You hear him? Hey, you need this? You need that? You need woo woo. Hey, man, I just did a big old cook-up, man. Here go a burrito. Here go a half bowl for you. Now, cook-ups be expensive. And the ones he was doing was like $30 cook-ups, burrito wraps, all types of chips layered in it, banana peppers, onions, everything stolen from the kitchen, garlic powder, cheese, real cheese, not the store cheese, the real cheese, the the, the, the store cheese mixed it. Like, they had everything in their wraps, right? Him and the guys that he rocked with, which was all older guys. So he giving them this stuff. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, he trying to, he trying to press up on him, far as just trying to get with him. I didn't know how far he would go, so he gave him all this stuff, and eventually, I guess he approached the dude, and um, like, hey, bro, you, you know, you get anything from the outside world, like, you know, you, you was hanging with this guy, you know, I kind of, I don't, you know, you shouldn't be hanging with him, so on and so forth. If you're trying to school him and son him. And he's trying to get other people like to vouch for what he's saying. Like, ain't, ain't this how prison go? Ain't this how prison go? And I noticed only like the older predators will step up and say something. Other Everybody else put on their headphones on. Because they just used to this. I'm so aware of my environment. I need to hear and see everything. So anyway, John ended up getting some um, dope, right? From who? We're not going to say. But do end up giving us some dope. Right? He can't pay it. He can't pay it. It's time to pay up and collect. Dude he got the drugs from was about to put a hit out on him. B snatcher. Overhears it, so on and so forth. It's in the ethers. The dude got a hundred dollars on him to get him off the yard. To spill blood. So B snatcher approached the dude he got the drugs from and asked to have his debt. And he paid off. Dude said, I don't care how you woo, 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 woo. If you got the money right now, then give it to me or send it to me. Be snatcher like, give me a day. I'm going to give you 50 food, all good stuff, and I'm going to give you 50 in cash from the outside world. What's the cash app, so on and so forth. He ended up doing it. John ended up belonging to him in the long run. Ended up belonging to him. Two months down the line, John get approached. Hey, you gonna do this? You gonna do that? You gonna go with them? I'm done with you. You and all. And this is the thing that they use when you're trying to go home. When you, if John was on a deferral, that means after he completed his classes, like where, where was school and uh, well, uh, excuse me, GD, welding, whatever, and got a good work report. The re, the, the parole board after he finishes class will call him back and and usually grant you a parole if you want a deferral if you haven't been in no trouble and you completed everything they told you to complete. So. They go. He go to him like, "Hey, look, you in your classes? If you go to the hole, you gonna have to wait there for a while to even get out the hole. 
which means you're going to get kicked out your classes anyway because you ain't going to be able to be here. You're going to have to wait on that wait list to whatever other prison you go to. It's a majority of people doing a long time in here with no classes. This is the fastest you ever going to get in it, and you already was waiting months to do that. I know you want to go home, so on and so forth. You got to go, and John broke down. Why are you doing me like this? Uh, I sacrificed my man hood for you. Oh, like my big old deal about it. End up going to the hole anyway. Because he got to throwing stuff around, kicking walls, uh, punch the hole in the, um, what do you call that, drywall? Because we had the little banisters in front of the room. You could see right over them. It just separated the cubicles. And then put something in the front, I guess, for design. I don't know why it's there. But that was one of the weirdest situations I've seen. Prison, a real environment. Very real environment, man. The games and the manipulation that's involved is crazy. A lot of y'all be like, oh, man, I wouldn't do that, this, this, and that. You can't say that to you in that predicament. Especially if you're not really tough or thorough. And you've never been through none of that. And you just want to get home peacefully. You might sacrifice some things to get there. Everybody don't have a strong mind. Everybody don't think that they'll be safe if they go to the police. I seen something also interesting on Vlad TV, too. Where... um. Michael Thompson was talking about getting pressed, right? And people was commenting saying you could just easily go to the police. It don't work like that. Some police might tell you, go go do what you got to do. Go defend yourself. We don't care. Or we ain't going to do nothing but put you right back on the yard if you do lock you know, you know, do lock up. And then some people be so scared to do it, they think somebody going to get them at the next joint. But the chances of them escaping, if they're not really known, is high. But they don't know that. Nobody telling them, like, if you just go to the next joint. And blend in. Nobody will know you unless he ride in. You know what I'm saying? That's really all you gotta, you, you know, you you gotta do. But just in case he do ride in, you might be in trouble. You don't talk on somebody. No matter what organization you join, you violate it, and they might let them get you. I know the gangs will. The more size tip of America probably won't let you know. Even if you did some bald stuff, they still stand up for you because they just love their brothers like that. You know? You know, that's what they're about. And they, and they don't want nobody putting their hands on them more, making it look like, are they weak? They allow this, this, and that to happen. Dog soft. He, they let them smack dog. You know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. So it'd be more willing to go out there and put in work for you off, off the bail. But that's that's a weird story, man. That's a very, very weird story. Shout out to John, wherever you at, man. Peace and blessings be upon you.